welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. We are out here on the job and we got a spider lift in the mix today. Let me show you what we got going on. So we are here at a new client's property. Actually, we're working for the client on the other side of the fence. But as you can see, there's this big dead elm tree here. Too dead and uh, scary, you know, risky to climb. So I subcontracted out a company with the spider lift. This thing goes up to 83 feet um, of boom, and it can reach up to 90 feet, uh, you know, working height. It's pretty cool. This is the perfect scenario for one of these machines um, because this tree starts on the other property behind the fence and just leans all the way out. As you can see, we have a pool here, house right here. Would have been super tough to climb this tree and get everything down safely. Um, no access for a bucket truck because it all has to come through that gate right there. So when this thing is folded up, it easily fits through the gate and uh, we're able to get the job done. So here we go. guys so as you can see this is a uh, 83 HD plus by Arbor Pro this thing's pretty sweet um, he took the first couple branches off by hand now he's got a rigging line and a pulley he's gonna start rigging some stuff down so trees really not all that big it just requires this machine because of uh, the location and access to it so uh, we do what we got to do to get it done we got the more bark chipper here with the old international. We're gonna fire her up and get this brush chipped up. So guys, as you can see, we're taking down an elm, and just like when splitting firewood, it's all stringy. Look at these chips. Super undesirable, long, stringy mess, and it creates a ton of dust. See the ground is all white around us, just makes a bunch of dust, but we're getting through this pretty good. We got the gentleman up in the spider lift over there. That's the last top, and uh, then we'll be working on the wood. So what I didn't mention before is uh, that I actually have James, Joe, and Chris over on another job. Um, it's actually the son of the gentleman that we're working for over on his property down the street. And they're doing a bunch of pruning uh, today. So after we get this elm down and all cleaned up, I'm gonna head over there with the chipper and we're gonna chip up all of the uh, brush and stuff that they created from the pruning. Then we're gonna head back once the ground freezes up later in the winter do a bunch of removals over on his property so we got like two crews today this guy came with the spider lift I thought it was only gonna be one guy and the, and the machine he said he'd take down the tree and I, I had to do the rest but he showed up with two other guys Chris was supposed to help me uh, but obviously with two other guys here plus me we didn't really need Chris so I sent him over to the other property to help Joe and James climb so uh, we're getting two jobs done today simultaneously First time I've ever done something like this. It was a little hectic uh, planning it, but it all seems to be working out. 
Fingers crossed, knock on wood. All right, we'll check in later. Alright guys, we have brushed out the tree, now we're working on the wood as you can tell from that last clip, uh, we're flying through this, Huber and his guys are great, um, look, you can't even see the tree anymore, between the spruces and those white pines, so it's going good, he's chunking it down into pieces now, and uh, we're going to be pulling it out of the woods, um, so everything's going great. Okay guys, so Robert just came down from the uh, tree. He's got to back up the uh, spider lift a little bit more to get the remaining trunk. So you can see we got pieces on the ground here and back there, that trunk is what's left. So he's gonna back up, get it down to the fence and uh, all the wood up until the crotch right there, we're going to chip and then the rest of the trunk is just gonna get dropped down in pieces behind the fence here and left in the woods. It's pretty hard access on the other side, so. See here, these legs all fold up. It's pretty amazing. And uh, they're gonna back this puppy up. That is a wrap. We just gotta blow off the driveway. I already blew all back here. They have uh, folded back up almost all the way, the spider lift. I uh, did the final rake up, got all the wood out of here. It's looking pretty good. We just gotta put some of the furniture back, but the uh, tree's down. Got it down to this spar right here, got a rope in it, so uh, they're gonna drop it alongside the fence here. You can see they got the yellow rope going down to the ground and the blue rope going up to that maple over there because um, it is leaning towards the fence. We're gonna cut it and uh, use that top rope to uh, ensure that it doesn't smash the fence because that would just be sad. Got down the whole tree, no problem, and then smash the fence. So. Can't rush it at the end, but uh, everything's going good. And we are going to go meet up with James, Joe, and Chris over at the other job. They got a bunch of brush on the ground. Uh, I think one tree left to do. And uh, we're gonna chip it up, and that'll be the day. Alright guys, that is it for the job. Just blew off the driveway. As you can see, I helped out the landscaper there. He's doing the leaves. Didn't want to leave him with uh, little bits and pieces of sticks and all that dust, so I helped him out in that section. What goes around comes around. Firm believer in that. So, uh, gonna throw the blower in the back of the truck, get these guys with the spider lift paid, then we're gonna go meet up with uh, James, Joe, and Chris. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so today is a new day, the next day, and we left off yesterday 
when I was going over to meet the other guys at the other job uh, to chip up all that brush. Things got a little hectic. We were trying to beat uh, the dump closing so that I could dump all those wood chips to make room for some more. We got it all done. Both jobs went really well. Customer very happy. Uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna have to go back once the ground freezes up to do some more removals. Um, but after we chipped everything up, you can see I went back to uh, the shed where we work and where I loaded up all those logs in the last video. And I loaded up the firewood that I had split and might as well bring home a whole nother load of logs. So we did that and uh, now I am actually going to be hopping on the tractor to organize them, which you will see in a future video. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button down below. If you have subscribed, good on you. I appreciate it. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in the comments section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.